Do you know what it is? It's the Front Left Podcast, Front Left of All Conversations. Myself, Taz, and I'm joined with... Trezor. Yeah, Josh. Josh. <laughs> left, yes. yeah, and we Josh got a Ari. special guest in the building. Bop, 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 bop. And she goes by the name of... Go on, introduce yourself. My name's Gary. Jamo! Oh, <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> hello, hello, what's good? Big G. I like the old claps for yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Round of applause. Oh, oh, Big G in the building. Come on. Yeah. Gaia, aka Gaia Jammer. But obviously, you don't like being called Gaia it's not, Jammer. Listen, no? it's a massive, massive compliment, but I'm also my own person. I really respect Maya. I think she's sick. However, who's that one from T4 that we were talking about last week? That's Jamila Jamil. Yeah. Guy Jamila She's Jamil. sick as well. That's listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very, um, listen, it's a compliment. <laughs> she was the original guy at Jamma. You see? You see how yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's cool. <laughs> I was like, left. She, <laughs> she was the original guy at uh, Gaia um, Not Guy Jamma. She was the original Maya Jamma. Listen, so, they're both incredible women, so I'm honored. Guy Jamila Jamil Jamma. Hey, it rolls What's off good? the Yo, tongue. That's a nice name, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that actually goes. I like but it, anyway, I like how's it. everyone today? Yeah, I'm good. okay, you know, good. can't really complain. Yeah, man, I'm good too. Got a bit of a headache, but it's one of them. I'm good, I'm good, yeah. I'm good. Refreshed, ready I'm to fresh. go. We're ready to go. But anyway, we're going to get into it today. So the first topic that we're going to diverge into is the recent passing of Caroline Flack. Rest in peace. Which mm-hmm. has caused like a media stare. Mm-hmm. Everybody's been commentating on it, basically giving their own perspective and their views of like, why she probably committed suicide and was it like was it something that happened in the past or was it something that as she had been pushed to do because of like comments in social media and past previous things that have happened like mm. relating to love island etc mm-hmm. i could never be famous i'm not gonna lie like to be famous to like that i want to be respected within my craft and obviously i'm an actor so like i, I want to be respected and i want to be successful but to me I think about the stuff that I go through like I have I'm a very anxious person Mm -hmm. and already like I struggle like when I'm anxious like I struggle going into uni Mm -hmm. and if I feel like that already from something so simple and mundane as going into like my university that Mm -hmm. I pay to go to and that you know I've earned my place there how do I deal with that on a magnified level and there's everyone watching everyone commentating like I just can't imagine how hard it how hard it is like Um, dealing with these issues and then you're just constantly being scrutinized and it's just I mean did she suffer from anxiety? Yeah. Well, I, I'm not too sure whether she. I think she's. I think she dealt from. I mean, her past Instagram post. Yeah. This is what I mean, bro. She literally put up an Instagram two days ago, yeah, like a selfie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff. yeah, she, yeah No, yeah, she put yeah. up a selfie of her and her dog two days ago, yeah. and oh, then she yeah, put yeah. something up in December, being like, "I've been advised to stay off social media." However, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to post this. I've seen these things, but she's only had the anxiety since the case happened. Mm. Or, but I want to know. But how did, do you know that? Why, no, yeah, no, that's no, what no. Because she was always forward, so. You need to feel like if she didn't bust up a man's head, then it like no, 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 no. Like no, I agree. I, I was gonna say something yeah, along those lines. Yeah, like mm-hmm. you need to feel like we've all known Caroline Flack as being Caroline Flack as being like she's always outgoing. But, but that's her persona. This no, is what no, I mean. No, but you need to okay. You need to say that's her persona, but. There was never signs of this getting to. But her. she's getting paid to be like that. Do you know? No, do you know no. What I'm saying? What I mean, even like, before that. You know, so this is what I'm saying. This is the thing. Like. You need to look at it now as a whole bigger picture. Mm-hmm. These things and what she started to be aware uh, or what's starting to affect her where people should be kind of being advised to stay off social media and so on. Mm-hmm. It's only happened when, one, the whole case, mm-hmm. she lost her job. So then you need to feel like your main income's gone. Mm. So she was getting paid like a mill from Love Island. That's that's a big chunk of you gone. Mm. You own a £1.6 million house in London. Your main income to pay that off is gone. Mm. You're now getting scrutinised Sponsors are dropping out. Mm. You're now going to have a criminal record and then you're going to pay law fees. Mm. That's where anxiety, depression, mm, all that course. comes through. So then you need to think that all these things have come and hit her. So then obviously she needs to... Now you've got the general public talking shit like Caroline Flack, she's doing domestic abuse, you got this, you got that. Da, da, da. Mm. People are shooting at her from all different avenues. Now, now you've got newspapers now chatting shit about you. Like i seen one like saying flack as whack or mm. yeah. shit like that then you've got all these different media sources just trying to tarnish your mm-hmm, name mm-hmm. so that's just going to keep on coming 100%. out yeah so then i generally don't feel like she didn't have it before but i generally feel like she actually felt like mm. it now is a step above it now mm-hmm. that she can't come back from mm-hmm. like it's kind of peak but her actual image was tarnished so you need to think like 
for her to go back to be herself is now it's a stigmatism she's she's blacklisted mm. so then she's thinking but that doesn't like, warrant someone taking that do you know i mean that doesn't warrant someone taking their life i've seen tweets being like but she beat up her man anyway so good like do you know what i mean like yeah. it's an eye for an eye however I, I i think as humans we are in no position and this is why i don't i personally don't agree with the death penalty like i don't think as humans we're in position to you know to dictate who has the right to yeah, live and who doesn't true. like it's not you know two wrongs don't make a right like she made a mistake. She's human. She's a human being. However, mm. it was magnified on you know such an extreme level in the media. Mm-hmm. And she, kind of, like, is the media. I think that's what people forget as well. Like yeah, yeah. she is that. She is she's that. Do you know it. what I mean? She yeah, is that yeah. person. That yeah. the spokesperson, the presenter. Like she's done. She did X Factor. She did best stuff. She did Love Island. I didn't know she um, did X Factor. She did do X Factor. Yeah, she did kids TV as well. She did Sky Sports. Yeah, as well. I don't know I, don't know what, I, don't I swear, know what. footy back in the day. No, no, that was that pen thing. No, I don't she think it was Caroline Flack. <laughs> no, she I swear didn't. She did. I don't think I don't she did. Think she did. Anyway. But, but she did X Factor. Yeah, she did. The yeah, so like she is. She show. is supposed to be, you know, this this spokesperson and this kind of image, especially in the world of TV and media and and, and that presenting kind of element. And it's not gonna lie, it's her and people. It's, it's, it's her people that are well, her that industry that she belongs to. That are the people that are turning against her. So it's like. But you need to think though. It's like. Newspapers, newspapers need to have stuff to run. That's how newspapers sell. But then at the same time, you're saying like that's it industry, mm. and people in them industry can dis- consider themselves gods. Yeah, amongst I agree. Mm-hmm. So once you fall from grace, mm-hmm. your life is done. Wow. So then you need to feel like mm-hmm. you, it's like you need to look at it. How many like ex footballers or mm-hmm, how many mm-hmm. once they've lost that pee. Mm-hmm or lost that fame? Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of depression, especially in sport, where people mm-hmm. don't have that 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 drive no more mm. that's why a lot of like especially boxers and that always compete to a mm-hmm. longer age yeah. so they can still have that kind of mm-hmm. thing once it's gone and once the money's gone you don't actually have any life skills that's true. you don't yeah. really have things that you could go if you didn't invest your money wisely who's gonna pay for your pension that's true. are you gonna yeah. be getting like you was getting a mill a year mm-hmm. are you gonna go and be living off 10 pound a year you can't be now when you want to look for a normal job and people see you in like sainsbury's now and be mm-hmm. like yo you was that person i'm not gonna lie yeah but imagine someone saying to me, like, on a regular basis, like, you was the man, you was this person, you was the guy. And then he come and see me and then he start telling my man, oh, yeah, he used to do this. That's the easy way out because mm-hmm. you need to think about it now. We live in a world that our egos and especially how social media and stuff is portrayed. Even before social media, what people's representation of you compared to a lot of people mm-hmm. is ha- the best way. And if you want people to feel like I'm the shit, you want them to always remember you. Fam, as you only I'm show the shit. people what you post. Yeah, like, yeah people forget yeah, yeah, about yeah. that. Like mm. it's a very, very distorted world. Like I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of it. I actually am. Like, and it's a, it's a. There are. I think I literally had this conversation so many times. Like for me, social media is such a double-edged edged sword. Like, at the moment. So my social media is my online portfolio. Like that's how I'm getting my bookings. That's how I meet. That's that's how like it's do you know brand, what I mean? That's how you brand, connect. Yeah, it's and brand, yeah. it's 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 brilliant. And I've, we've done so much. I've done so much good on there. Met so many people and like managed to get jobs and things like that. However, not gonna lie, before I was going to Ibiza and I was looking at all these all these girls like with their you know bikini. I remember you telling me this. I, I had to I had to delete it because I was just I became obsessed. Mm. And it's also about having that self discipline as a young person to be like actually like raw like. I used to, you can get them timer things on it as well, like spending too much time on there. So like oh, you get yeah, like yeah, the time screen limit. Time, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was doing that, but I just remember being on it and like, how am I on Instagram? And then all of a sudden I'm on, I'm on my friends, brothers, best friends, boyfriends, girlfriend. Do you know what I mean like it's like a, it's like a, so, it's, a, it's a vortex. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. click and then you click and then you're lost and then you're scrolling and it's just like, it's a mad mad little world. But like in terms of these. I'm thinking about what you're saying about like these figures and these names pop into my head like Amy Winehouse, mm-hmm. Kerry Katona, Jade Goody. Wait, like, wait, 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 wait. All of these. But some, but some, some of those them, ones that you mentioned yeah, yeah, were on yeah, drugs yeah. and they were like highly intoxicated. But and the stuff. same. But it, n- not saying it's the same as Caroline. And Jade Flack, Goody died because of cancer. Yeah, she had cancer. But it, it's the same. It's the same like kind of like demonization from the media. Mm, I don't know. See, man. L- let me let me just touch Jade, upon that. Jade Goody. Yeah, Jade right. Goody is a problematic one, but I'm I'm thinking about especially about these women. That have just I don't know Amy Amy Winehouse yeah that's that's before I that's, think she's a, she's a uh, she's tragedy. a legend it yeah. is a tragedy she died too young mm-hmm. because she's in the twenty seven yeah yeah but mm. that was like a toxic relationship mm-hmm. there was yeah. like you're living now like mm-hmm. someone said it the other day you don't realize that how many people take cocaine when you was younger till oh, you yeah, go so, yeah, yeah. I see that as I used to feel like people were like proper like just drunk in it mm-hmm. so I didn't yeah. understand it but when I got like nineteen twenty I'm like 
everybody yeah, takes coke just, like so good, then yeah. you need to think like not me though i don't endorse that when you become so rich and famous mm. all they do Access. is bash coke Access. like when celebrities do riders they ask for cocaine mm. and it's like part, still, of, the package, part of the package yeah, yeah. so then you need to think you're partying Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday and all you're doing is whacking drugs and then the boyfriend the boyfriend or the guy you're with is also a drug addict. Mm. The people that you're with take drugs. Your music itself is drug related music. Mm. So then you need to think it's mm. it's a cycle. You but talk- how can you how can you smash that many drugs and not see there's a correlation with your mental health? Like you're you're on these extreme like elevated highs like obviously your come downs it's because are they, gonna be so much harder I so think some of them they're consistently on the high yeah and because mm. you're consistently on the high you never mm. you never get the chance to reflect to mm. come back no, down to that reality so if you're consistently on a high on a high on a high on a high you're always gonna be in a state of euphoria mm. so where it's like that becomes your norm mm. so then you're addicted to becoming in the high again because you always want to feel that good it's so a fal- then, again it's, it's still a false reality it's yeah a it's false a false concept. it is a false reality but mm. some people especially like the the early when i say the early days like people who blow up from a younger age mm. they never really had a proper upbringing mm. and upgrowing mm. as mm-hmm. where they could have been a child and then they trans um mm. they grew up through adolescence and then gone into adulthood like they've they've always had to be a superstar mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. the time from when they were young, like Michael Jackson or Justin Bieber and stuff. That's mm-hmm. why they then fall back at a later age into like maybe depression or anxiety mm-hmm. or something along those lines because they've had to take on such a burden from a young age where they don't even know how to act. So uh, Justin Bieber, for example, I think he came out, I think he was on Ellen and he, he was talking about like how he like took drugs and all stuff and he took a step back, but now he's good and he's making music again and he's married and his life's back on track and stuff. But from the age of 14, by the time he was 17, mm. he was saying like he was burnt out because mm. he was a global superstar. He couldn't go anywhere and do anything because it was just like, I think, Justin Bieber. I, yeah, I think with uh, going back to, you know, we seen Caroline as, you know, this is her. Mm. We never knew she had like depression or anything like that. Like I said, it's when they go to work, that's, that's how we see her, you know, yeah, as, yeah. as herself. I mean... But isn't everyone it, guilty of that? Yeah, of course. I mean, even, even myself, what... Well, I think it was like last year or the year before I went through a little anxiety thing mm. uh, I don't know if I told you man or, or whatever no, we, 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 we were there, there. You, you told us yeah I know so yeah. it's far, <laughs> far far back anyway but I didn't realise what anxiety actually was until it actually hit me as well mm. yeah. so like the outside looking in you just see me on Instagram you know mm-hmm. about rays and take me top off and all <laughs> shit like that <laughs> Then, it's true, it's true. But, <laughs> but when I'm actually not that's in work... That's a cool Shit. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, I, co- I come into work every day, you know, I'm smiling. Everyone's like, yo, there's Trey. And then the day I'm not smiling, either something's gone on or mm-hmm. whatever. But like I said, mm-hmm. we're, all, we're all guilty of putting out what we want people to see. Do you know what I mean? Never, no one ever really shows their sort of you know the downfalls the things that they're going through and they don't, they they don't do have to but attention seeking or yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's a thin thin line do you yeah. know what's big in it well, it's manufactured and I'll always give my mum props for this because even though my mum shouts all the fucking time Joshua yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she shouts all the time but my mum has never ever come into the house and said I'm feeling depressed or so this this is what I'm saying like I was saying to Tesla the other day I don't never know what depression was because mm. my mum's never been like this is getting me down this and this is coming mm. down da, da, da. and it's always been like if shit happens you just get on and move with it mm-hmm. so I've always had that mentality mm-hmm. But then I think now, like later in life, like a couple of years ago, or now I say even two, three years ago, it's now hit me. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit, there's days I feel like proper depressed or I start to get anxious. I was like, what the fuck is this? Because mm-hmm. I've never had anyone tell me about this feeling. I've heard it from other people. And I used to feel like this is bullshit. Like I used to be like, yo, oh, are you man getting depressed? I That's how I, when people say they're depressed, mm-hmm. I used to laugh about it. Yeah. Like, yo, who are going for this? I, I think, I think, sorry to uh, interject, but I feel like. As men, I mm-hmm. obviously can't speak from a woman's uh, perspective, mm-hmm. but it's kind of like you're a man, just oh, get over oh, it. Yeah. Honestly, you know what I mean? Honestly. Like, no, know. but that's what I'm saying. It, My mum no. just moved on. Like, she never, never, ever wants to. I know, said, but Trey's trying to say from our perspective okay. as a man, like in society, you're trying to say. And I, I agree. It's like, I, yeah. it's like, oh, what, what be a man, like, yeah, man, man up, yeah, yeah, like, grow yeah, some balls. Yeah, like, yeah. And isn't it so funny how, like, you know, you, we associate these characteristics with men. Whereas if you're in, you know, if you're in touch with your feelings, is you're a pussy. It's not acting like a bitch. Like yeah. these are like characteristics that are literally like 
it's like related to gender and it's, it's it's problematic and it's this whole concept of like what does it mean to be a man like you can't show emotions like you can't cry like man up like you know no, little yeah. boys. I haven't cried in ages like it's he- listen it's like, he- it is healthy to cry but nah, also nah, it's nah, just nah, nah. if I have a I, son I'm like Josh yeah it's not that I won't cry. I just it, it yeah, just doesn't happen. Yeah, but exactly. Not like well, you're going to be out there forcing a tear. Like it's not it's not by force. You nah, don't nah, have to if, do if, that. If my son starts crying, man, I'm big man. I'll tell him, big man, fix up in it. But why? It's not. It's not. It's not. I've I'm not t- built like that. This is gonna. No, it's not gonna sound mad. I'm just gonna say with chest. Anyway, there's certain people, men, women, whatever. They use weapons as tears. What? Do you mean? what? All the way around. They use tears Listen, as men, weapons. men as well. I've known, I've, I've known. I've just said that. Yeah, yeah. I said men and women. I'm just making it very clear as well. I, that's why I said both. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I said both. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave me. And guys, I come back to me. He's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're smiling because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said both. It yeah, can work yeah. both ways. But obviously, people can weaponize tears. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. I'm not going to say what I'm going to say, but I'll say it after the pub. But the same people, demographics that use tears in certain um, specific scenarios as weapons to get what they want when mm-hmm. they want it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. they'll use that as like emotional blackmail mm-hmm. against someone else in different scenarios to mm-hmm. then make them feel like, oh my God, I'm in the wrong, they're mm-hmm. in the right. Are you talking about women? Yeah, but I wanted to say specific okay. demographic it's because ma- I've seen an like, article that. on that. So I read the article the other day in it. They're talking about like repercussions so especially with the whole me too movement so you know how ladies are coming out like guys are like sexually assaulting them and so on mm. so i was watching like um basically this guy they were talking about the whole kobe case and how they brought up that woman gail king brought up the whole yeah, sexual leslie. yeah and leslie king leslie king no it's gail no Le- lisa leslie and gail king yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. brought up like he did like sexual assaulted with someone so then a woman was so this guy was talking about like how this woman said he sexually assaulted her. So basically, I'm gonna cut the whole story proper short. But he seen this woman two weeks ago. She gave him his number. He was like, "Cool, I'll holler you." Mm-hmm. Holler there. She said, "Why are you calling me?" He was like, "Oh, I'm just, I'm just checking. Like, it's a call in. Like, see what you're doing." He didn't like a response, and he did it. So like two weeks later, see. She goes to the same gym. We never knew she went to the same gym. She was like, oh, was you being serious? Like, why did you call me? She's like, oh, but yeah, why would you call me? He was like, because it's a phone. And I thought we was like, kicking it off. She was like, oh, cool. She was like, why are you being sarky? And he, he was like, why are you being such a bitch? And like, but the way she said it. So then she was like, okay, okay. And then she walked off on a strop. Two minutes later, she comes back and starts like hyperventilating. And was like, this guy touched me. He physically but assaulted... But where did you hear this from? This is actually like a proper, like... They wrote an article about it. I'll but who wrote an article? Um, I don't know. But do you see what I mean? It like, wasn't with situations fake. like that, it, it, no, no, no. it's still very much he said, she said. No, no, unless you wait, were there. wait, wait. This is where it gets a bit sticky. So he was like... She was like, ah... Oh. But this is an open sp- open plan of a gym. Mm-hmm. He sexually assaulted me, did it in the lobby. Then she was like, ah, oh, cool. The guy's a famous comedian, by the way. So then um, he was like, all right, cool. The CCTV in the gym. And then she start, her story started to mm. change. She's like, oh, um, uh, it didn't come out this way. But she was trying to get the check. But then we was talking about like when women do that, for saying that someone sexually assaulted them or putting up these lies, there's actually nothing they face for that. Mm. The case has just dropped. But also, what about the women? Like, I'm, I'm always just playing devil's advocate, by the way. But like, I know you are. what about the women that are like that, that have actually got that have actually been sexually so, yeah, assaulted? There is some. There and, is and some. Th- th- there's not some. There's a there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot of women. There's a lot of women. But then there's a lot of women that actually play it on it, and they haven't been sexually assaulted. Mm-hmm. They use that as a weapon. Mm-hmm. But I've started to figure out in later life that. So I was speaking to some girl. She she actually listens to the pod. What are you doing? Don't bite your tongue, guy. Just say it. I can see her. Just, like, just, just say it. Just, um, just say it. Man. We were talking it. about like how many people were sexually assaulted. And I was like, we were talking about stories of what happened in the past. Mm. And a lot of lads and a lot of girls have been saying, I've been, like, I'm not going to get into it yet. But like, an older woman took advantage of me when I was young. And I was like, oh shit, I thought that was the norm. Like, but then when I started to speak, the norm. No, no, for no, 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 no. I think you told me before. But. Yeah, yeah, but I fully got like, yo. And I was like, oh shit. But then, go for it. Oh no, I was going to say, uh, well, uh, I, I've been watching this program on Apple TV Plus called The Morning Show and it's, 
it's to deal with like the whole Me Too movement and stuff mm-hmm. like that as well. And after watching, I'm not going to obviously go through what is on the actual program in case you just want to watch it or whatever. I was looking at certain characteristics in like the workplace, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Of, you know, how people are banter, a bit of flirtiness, you know, touchy-feely. And I was like, hang on a minute. The way I'm watching all these things, I look back at previous places of work, even, you know, if I'm speaking to somebody, how that may have come across mm-hmm. to somebody else. You know, like you mentioned them before, um, you would say you got sexually yeah, assaulted or whatever. I like, genuinely thought, like, I thought, but when, apparently a lot of people don't have had it. Because yeah. like, just, just for the example, this is probably a shit example, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Uh, when I used to like work on a bar and then do like collect glass mm-hmm. and stuff like that, I always get people pinching my ass, grabbing my dick, and all sorts. Mm-hmm. And nice. I wouldn't think too much. I used of to it. get that with um, I, cocktail classes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, it's bad, but I don't care about that because I'm grown now. So uh, I was looking to pay. I'll like, go to jail. But, if someone did that to me behind that, I'm, I'll then, go to prison. But it's the thing. So I again, like reverting back to, oh, you don't mind, get on with it. Mm-hmm. I was just like, all right, cool. Let me just go on with it because if I say, look, this is what's happening. Um, I'll be looked at. Oh, you're weird, John. But why? But why did you feel in that moment? I'm not. I'm not going to lie. From what Josh said earlier, like, what about the men, for example? Like, obviously, your kind of experiences is quite like, you know, it's it's within the workplace. Yeah, and it's yeah, still, yeah. But to someone else, that that can be quite serious. If someone grabbed my vagina in work, I'm not going to lie. I'm like. That's, that's not on. Yeah. And obviously it is different, whatever, and it's taken with a pinch of salt and it's working. It's especially in, in the bar when people are drinking and it's late and there's all these components that, you know, that can, that, can, that, can that ease it to, and that can kind of cloud yeah. it. However, you know, there are people, for example, like men who are in abusive relationships that because of, you know, all these social pressures and social dictation, I'm not going to lie. For example, what Josh just said, like that, that to me is a component and can act as a catalyst as to why people don't want to, especially men don't want to open up because they might yeah. have a dad that says, don't cry. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So, so it, it goes nah, back. Nah, that, that, what she's saying is spot on, yeah. to be honest. I yeah. didn't okay, get, I didn't this, get what you're saying. I didn't know it was sexual assault to lie. No, 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 no but I, I'm not, this can, be, this can be applicable to anything. This can be applicable to mental health problems. It yeah. can be applicable to, you know, sexual assault. About men expressing their real emotions. If in that moment you felt uncomfortable, yeah, why did you feel like you should have just brushed it off? Do you know what I mean? Like, and you, because you didn't want to be looked at, like. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna be careful how I wear this next bit. Mm. Um, but I was in a situation where I basically felt uncomfortable where mm. I was. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Um, just because the situation was, I was getting touched too much, mm-hmm. and I Try was check. like, um, I'm, ju- I'm just gonna just say it how it is. I'm, I'll mm-hmm. say it mm-hmm. after the pod, um, and. I started to think, oh, maybe it's just a person who's just touchy feely, mm-hmm. but then it just got a bit too much. Okay. Now, over the course of three, four, five months, mm-hmm. I was like, no, this is really getting on my nerves now. Mm-hmm. So I was getting angry, and I didn't know what these feelings were. Okay. I was getting angry. Then I was like, when this person comes to the same room as me, I'm walking away to completely get away from this person. Okay. Do you know what I mean? It got to a point where I was like, look, I, I can't be in the same room as this person. Okay. That's how bad it actually got, do you know what I mean? So I'd went to uh, my manager, my line manager, okay. uh, spoke about it, and it took me five weeks to build up. The, I'd written a whole letter and everything, like how am I gonna wear this stuff like that. Got to meeting up with him to speak to him about it. Okay. And I was like, I prepared something to write and I don't really know how to say it. Oh, you yeah. know, he he was good because he he said, look, just say it how you wanna say it. Okay. And then- <laughs> Josh, we'll, sorry, Josh is killing me, okay. Yeah. No, 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 just killing me. He was like, just, just, say, just say how it is and then we'll try and context it and understand it together. So mm. we spent like okay. a good half an hour having a little chat about it. Um, my situation got better because I didn't, I were in the same environment mm. as this person also as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was out of this environment for a good eight to nine months anyway. But then it came time because my situation had changed and it was only a temporary situation. Mm-hmm. I had to then go back to that same environment. Mm. And I was like, you know, how do I feel about going back? And I was like, well, because the interaction's not been there, hopefully it's gonna be fine. But when, as soon as I got into that same sort of space with that other person, I was like, nah, this this, this, this can't run, do you know what I mean? So we had a decision to make, either it was gonna be myself, and this person, along with a line manager and somebody else mm-hmm. to have a conversation to say what's going on, you know, um, do you realise this is what you're doing and this is the mm. effect that you're having on me because this could potentially one impact on my mental health my actual results what I'm doing 
mm-hmm. uh, and potentially impacting other people as well because mm-hmm. if I'm the only person who is feeling this, potentially maybe other people as well, yeah. but they've just not came out and spoke about it, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, everything's fine now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's squashed. I'm not in the same space as that other person, but it took me so much time <laughs> to get that courage to try and speak out. Some people don't even know how to speak out or where to go to sort mm-hmm. of, you know, get help or think is that okay even still looking back at it now i was like mm, mm-hmm. should i have done that mm-hmm. but, but I you're feel talking like you're talking about it now yeah i feel and much better yeah, and probably help. Yeah, yeah yeah i just think it's so everything that i mean everything every topic and every conversation and every you know debate is it's so subjective you know there are different levels you know what you might deem you know, it's a joke. Someone else might de- might take really seriously, and I think that's applicable with like, especially like when we're talking about like anxiety, and mental health. Like, it's not one size fits all. Your anxiety is different to mine. Like, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's what I've noticed in the last couple of years. When it's just like, I know a lot of people that suffer with anxiety or different, different. You know, there's a big spectrum and different kind of stages or different different levels and different extremities so like you can't say to me i would never say to someone i know what you're going through because even if we both have anxiety my anxiety is different to yours i deal with it differently mm-hmm. i think if people have anxiety it's, it manifests differently in every different human being because we're not wired the same you're not like me i'm not like you when i'm anxious i'm so rude but just unintentionally because i don't know how to socialize properly and i would ru- I'm, I'm snappy i can't say in a room i'm anxious so i'm just i'm just mad snappy yeah, yeah. and people yeah. don't realize that and i come across as rude i thought it was london gal mentality to be fair no no oh, obviously bro, obviously no 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 i am rude i'm rude i'm fair so do you know no. what, what what trey was saying i think what happens well, I'm going to speak from my point of view because mm-hmm. I haven't. I'm not saying that I've been in a few similar situations, but I've had thoughts and I've had like a lot of internal dialogue where mm-hmm. I thought, you know what? If I speak out now, there's a lot of like stereotypes already that I've, are created. So mm-hmm. if I now speak, they're gonna go against me. So mm-hmm. if I react in an angry way, they're gonna say, "Oh, he's an angry black man," mm-hmm. or because I'm b- bigger physically than the other person who may be doing something to me, they'll be looking at you like. Or why didn't you just do something about mm-hmm. it? It's like, well, I can't just do something about it because then, then the victim becomes then the one who's going to get punished mm-hmm. because they're the one who's then going to be in trouble. Mm-hmm. So there's all those little things that come across. So mm-hmm. I can understand why you probably thought, like, how am I going to conquer this problem? Because what, what the repercussions that I want to happen for that other person may not actually happen because they might not actually believe what I'm going to say mm-hmm. or it can be misconstrued or it can be mm-hmm. flipped on its head to where it looks like it's an overreaction and the other person might be like, oh, you're just having a bit of banter, but just having a bit of joke. And like what you said, like working in different places, like I always pick up on it. I think maybe because I've got, my sister's what, nearly 18. But when I was obviously the first, so there's like a nine year gap. First whatever, until she got to about fifth, 14, 15, there's a lot of things that I probably thought I knew. Mm. But then when she's growing and then she's getting into adulthood, then it opened my eyes up to a lot of things. So mm. when I hear s- certain people say things, or when they speak of certain things, I always digest it and mm-hmm. I think, rah, do you actually know what you're saying or what you, like, do you actually, mm-hmm. like, if, if I was a girl now, you wouldn't say this in front of me or if you did, mm-hmm. like, this would be taken in a completely the different life. The microaggressions, baby. The microaggressions. Happens all the time. It's just the same as, like, mm-hmm. being, us being black. There's yeah. probably people saying things, say, people say things or will do certain things and they don't think I pick up mm-hmm. on it and I'm just mm-hmm. thinking about, do you know, I'm so tired today. I can't even mm-hmm. be bothered saying yeah. to you, like, but also as what? well, like, I always thought that I was like, it's not my job to educate, but actually sometimes like, I actually have to find the strength and be like, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And I think that takes courage as well to actually step out and be like, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Yo, you can't be saying that. You actually that- can't. I remember there was a boy in my first year and he was like, he was blessed. Like he was literally from like some little shire outside. I don't know where. And again, I think there are certain things like that and certain components about your socialization that can, you know, that can affect the way you think and the you know your opinion on the world. However, I do think you have a phone. You've just moved to Liverpool. There are ways you can educate yourself. And I remember him being like, "Your half caste friend is so funny, you know." Do you know what? See, people that, and I, that, and you I know, know. But, but like to me, like the word <laughs> half caste. My dad grew up. My, my the way I've grown up, half caste, and what my dad's told me about the word half caste. It's just. I'm so glad you said that word. Go carry on, carry and on. it's 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 alien in my vocabulary. It's alien in people I've grown up with vocabulary. It's it was a word to demonize my dad. My dad's half Pakistani, half Irish, mm. um, and ha- half caste to him and what he's told me. It means that. It, it made him feel like he's half human, like he's he's not. That's what it was meant to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, so, really? so yeah, for yeah, someone yeah. of my, not only my generation, but just someone to just say that so 
out like as if it was nothing. I had to be like, bro, you know you can't say that. And he didn't even, re- do you know what I mean? He didn't even realize. But you know what, half um, half cast or whatever you want to say, um, only re- recently, not recently, ten years. Because if Tally's 20, 20, 20, yeah, no, I know you mean when we were growing up, only, people, yeah, people yeah, yeah. describe people as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the but the thing is, the like what guy was saying, the original like. Mm-hmm. Origins of that comes mm. from like the caste system, half. You're, the you're caste half system which came in like in India and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and also came in in apartheid as well. Mm-hmm. So if you're half caste, they, it's basically they, what they used to do is like is colorism as well. So mm-hmm. if you're darker, you're cast away, mm-hmm. and if you're like like they used to call you half breed or mm-hmm. mixed breed mm-hmm. and stuff like that, it's because they don't mm-hmm. they don't categorize you as a human because mm-hmm. your skin is not white basically. Mm-hmm. So when I know a lot of people still say it in Liverpool and I know they're not trying to be ignorant because I've I've been in conversations where people go, Oh yeah, yeah and they just f- say it and in my head I'm just like But I'm exactly so within com- within the realms of that conversation, because it was a, a light hearted conversation, yeah, because yeah. it was just it was so overt and just yeah, like it, he just you, said out loud. You know you don't they yeah, don't mean it. But, you're, but you're that's a bit why like, I had to take yeah. I had to be like I wasn't aggressive. I just had to be like, yo, bro, don't say that again. Like yeah. you can't you can't say that. Like you say um, it in the wrong space and you, exact, you, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like yeah. it's different for Trey. Like if he's at work and like you know there are there are serious repercussions for things like that. And you know he's not feeling comfortable at work and he's not doesn't have the ability to be able yeah. to perform to the way he can and he's not excelling. That's that's uh, that's harder to be honest yeah. and harder to <coughs> g check people. Of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Um, but again, like it's a there's a very very fine line between you know what do you, what do you excuse and what do you you know what do you call people up on and it doesn't have to be yeah. aggressive it doesn't have yeah. to be confrontational but you know also it can be a way of just being like not gonna lie heads up don't don't be saying that shit again because it can't yeah. run yeah but mm. going, going back to the thing about the consent thing which i wanted to speak about a little bit because um i don't know what he, i think i told you about it the video with slow tie no. and Catherine uh, Ryan. told me i can't Catherine remember Ryan. is she famous yeah, yeah she's a comedian. comedian was this when he was on stage she yeah was i was okay. on stage did you see it what happened I've, I've heard a little bit about it so basically like when the video started coming out, I think he was accepting an award and Catherine Ryan was the presenter she's host. The ginger one, isn't it? She's, she's big. She's great. with, um, Alan, is it Alan Carr? Yeah. You, or Jimmy you Carr, you'll see her, the ginger one. She she's Canadian. Did man spit in her mouth too? That's disgusting. What? Yo, he spits in people's mouths, you Who? know. Who? Slow time? Yeah, bro. Oh, no, no, no. He did spit in her mouth, so... <laughs> I was thrown That's at. A, I've never... I never heard the slow tie till recently. Well, you don't know, like, he, he's like a rapper and he does, like, like, like a like Until man music. spat in that girl's mouth, innit? Oh, really? Yeah. Nah, so basically, what happened is, like... So, the videos that were coming up and surfacing online were showing that, like, slow tie was accepting a gift, but he was obviously waved. So, like, he now grabs the mic and Catherine Ryan's on stage... And he's like, kind of like putting his arm around her, groping, and he's like, "Yo, what you saying now, baby?" Da da da. Kind of like making sexual advances towards it. Okay, but like, yeah, yeah. then there's another coworker behind her who seems like unease because she's like, "Whoa, this is a bit weird." And you can imagine this is an award show with bare people in everyone the audience. Can see, yeah, everyone yeah. can see. Everyone's watching. And then like, what hadn't happened is they hadn't shown the full context of the videos or what happened from different angles. So when you're hmm. speaking to me, I had only seen the the latter bit and not the beginning yeah, yeah 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 so then another video surfaced and it and then the cop- caption was something like context is very important because what had happened really initially was Catherine ryan was speaking and then she was listening to the nominations and stuff mm. and then when she got to slow tie he was like front front he's actually front left you know it was funny he's actually front left of the, <laughs> of the state no association <laughs> with the click and he was sat there and then like he was he was basically like giving the eye, but if you know Catherine Ryan's comedy, she's quite flirtatious. Yeah, she's yeah. quite like sarcastic, and she's she can almost create a narrative. But again, that's her that's her that's persona, persona as a comedian. Yeah. True, yeah, true. So, you know what I'm saying? so nah, I'm saying, saying. Yeah, I'm saying. but like he's obviously drunk yeah. and whatnot, and he's waved and he's mm. feeding into it. So he she's giving him this energy, but the stuff she says in it is mad. Mm. She's saying like slow tie, aren't you so gorgeous? I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest. I'm I don't, really, I haven't I'm followed really this. Like, me personally, oh. I can't speak on stuff that I don't know, so I'm just gonna. All right, that's fine. Speak quiet. But like when you know what I mean? when you see, I'll show you the video. After okay, this, show me after. She kind of like eggs him on and starts saying stuff like yeah. yeah like you can get this award. Look mm. at these balls and all this kind of like she proper. She uses sexual language like to put into his head. Like obviously, if probably if he was in a more safe, sober state of mind, he would have probably realized that yo, mm. like this is a joke kind of thing. But he was waved out his head. So she's kind of egged him on. So when he's now gone to receive the award, he's now come on stage with that same energy she was showing her. But she's a bit like, oh, mm. like this is not again fine line, not, fine line. 
Yeah. This is not where I wanted it to go, kind of thing. The man trying. He looks like he tried to lips the thing. Though. Yeah, he does. He try. He like he grabs and he's trying to. Her like, husband was there. Oh, that's all I read. I read that her husband was there. Oh really? Yeah. And then another guy starts like in the crowd starts flipping on him and starts saying like, "Yo, your music shit on. Like, stop touching it." Da, da, da. Then he grabs a, a um, someone from the crowd throws a water bottle at him. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and he catches and he catches it and he jumps off stage and he goes into the stage and all the security have to p- bring him back. Wow. But he's ready to start swinging. But anyway, the whole point of me saying that is obviously sometimes consent can get blurred lines because mm. obviously. It's very, very difficult because there is a fine line of when someone is giving you that kind of flirtatious energy. Okay, question. Question. Okay, question, question. Just thought it in my head now. Imagine, imagine you're out now. Are you talking to me? All of you. Okay. Imagine okay. you're out now. Boom. I'm going to set the mood now. Oh, God. It's a Saturday night, 11 p.m. In the like, bar. You just go into... I, I ain't left. I'm still at home, B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just 11's a bit early. I'm still in it, for real. Yeah, yeah guy. I didn't even start drinking. 1 o'clock, baby. 1 o'clock. 30, 11. 1 o'clock. Now the Red Ray. Renny. I was going to call it Renny. The Renny nephews. The Henny and the Ray is starting to hit you now. I called Renny and Renny. You're into the club now. You walk up the steps, you get your VIP wristband, you see a couple of things, you see that them chairs now, boom. See something, I'm gonna call her Deshaun. Deshaun comes up to you. Sounds like a man's name still. Uh, oh like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> also I'm not gonna lie, I don't go up to Ting, so No like, okay. You, Ting's uh, go to you. No, no, God, God, like God. God. I just don't because I, also when I'm out, I'm not gonna lie. I go out to have fun with my friends. I'm not out okay. there looking what's for a, man. A I just don't. I just don't. Much. If you see me in ink, I'm like this. Yeah. I, I don't care. Like, you, know, you shake and back shut off, mate. You know? yeah, there is <laughs> 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 oh, no, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When but I am. Am, what a two two wines come But I am, I am, I am, I'm just having fun. Like, I'm actually just having fun. I'm just being a fool. Like I, I don't think that saying is. Uh, okay, if this is not for you. Then look after. Yeah, it's not for me. Yeah. Perspective. What's the girl's name? Lisa. Lisa. Lisa oh. comes now, and she just throws you on them chairs. Yeah. You know them chairs. Yeah, I know you change with Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. She falls on them chairs now, <laughs> and Lisa is just like boom. Like what I mean, she starts doing sex extra on you in it. No linger, no linger. Can I just pause you just Wait, there? Was, yeah, That's scary. Go I'm not go gonna lie. No, I'll, it happens a lot. I know it does. <laughs> I know it does. Just before you continue, I'm gonna say. The, if the roles were reversed, it would have been a mad team. Yeah, is that what you're gonna yeah, say? Yeah. Is that? But, but, <laughs> Before you continue with your story, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Yeah. No, but girls, but like, if, if a girls man, got a, if I come and see Gaia and I didn't oh, know her, I'm through on that couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the way the man is sort of So, <laughs> imagine now, Lisa falls <laughs> yeah. on that couch, starts doing stripper movements on there. Tonight, you yeah, 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 girl. Yeah, <laughs> she starts doing, you're like, yo, I'm going to get the mother's hookers. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to suck my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Can I cash up? <laughs> <laughs> so silly, man. <laughs> <laughs> oi, oi. So then she's rubbing you down. The lights come on. It's time to go. And now you're thinking you're gonna. In my head now, I feel like I'm gonna be getting. A yeah. Mm. And then she she tells you, "Hey, you can't be touching me now." So it's back. home time, darling. Yeah. yeah. It's home Yo. time, darling. The way I'm like, yeah. <laughs> 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 back, yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? No. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. I, I know wasted. a lot. Hold on, I'm not. I know a lot of girls that do that because in the club, it's fun. Do it. you in the club, it's fun. Of and the you know realization hits. It you know hits, and it's home time, darling. I've realized this is why I always say to to man them, just be careful or just don't entertain it unless you're thirty. Because what girls do, what women do, girls, whatever. They kind of they they get so caught up into it. They enjoy themselves. They almost like pretend that like. Guys do it too, but like from a female perspective, they're like, this is their stage. So hold on, I mean? just be, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So just because I flirted with you, maybe you bought me a drink. Hey, you no, 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 no. He took it the next stage. Yeah, yeah that is not, not flirting. flirting. Buying a drink, that's calm. Yeah, yeah, that's if fine. If a guy then expects that he's stupid because nothing is yeah, being. Yeah. T- but, but if she's what I mean, she threw you there. Oh, if she's doing Cardi B on the over the breast, bro, everything. That's disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. Some composure. Look at it now. This is me. I'm on the thing. She's on top uh-uh. of man. This, see how I'm shaking? That's how the body <laughs> <laughs> is shaking. But he's just jumping. I'm actually just, oh, yep, yeah, lifting the options. <laughs> kissing, kissing. So hold on, w- would you move like that in a club? 
Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 just, I'm not going to lie. Interest. If, I'm if, into, if, if, if I was waved and it's happening, no, it's happening. No, if I'm waved, it depends how much of a baddie she is. Yeah, if yeah, it's happening, it's Hold happening. on, hold on. You would want to move like that in public with but, people no, around? Um, she's mm. a baddest... Ba- hey, just I've be moved like, like that before, innit? <laughs> but she was a baddest baddest. So you can't, you can't be like, yo... The body was 11 out of 10. You know when that's 11 out of 10, you have to subtract an imaginary one to make it 11. The maths don't correlate. <laughs> Area 51 <laughs> out of this <laughs> world <I'm> thing. You, <laughs> when they're on top of you now and they're bouncing, bouncing, obviously they're feeling something, something. They, they're playing too many games. They've got the whole control and then come and tell you, hey, he's okay now. See, that's the thing. That's where the fine line comes with consent. Obviously, the, the thing is with consent I think it's always obviously it's both parties mm. but it's mm. can, I, can it's, I sorry no I'm just I'm just. do you know what it is there's a very very fine line because also you cannot dispute someone's feelings if yeah. I say to you not gonna lie you, you made me feel like this and they're like no I didn't you can't tell me how I feel so either you hold your hands up and be like look I'm sorry for making you feel that way. Yeah. Because you can't sit there and be like, no, I didn't. But I'm telling you, I'm literally told you, mm. you made me feel uncomfortable. Whether you meant to or not. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's the when intent. it gets tricky about consent that's, because that's, that's what, I what, what, what I deem is inappropriate might be something might, might be something that you just think is a joke. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it, it is very, very hard. Especially, I'm not going to lie, especially the, the parallels between men and women. Like, I'm very tongue in cheek. Like, I'm, I'm quite like... A cheeky chappy. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm very like... What's the word? Witty. No, the I'm cuff. very... Um, you're flipping. I'm not a prude. Like, I'm very... Oh, okay. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm quite... Yeah. Um, Y'all spoken? No, no I'm, I'm weird... talking about... I'm talk... She's the opposite of prudish. What's, what? what's, what's prudish mean? A prude is... Prudish is like someone who's really like... They, they're not really outspoken or expressive in the way they feel sexually. They may so not like, talk I'm, about I'm... it or they may not express themselves in a way that is open. So someone I'm, who's I'm... prudish might be like the, the person who's very quiet and... It's, I'm trying to think of what the word is. I the word know. is like, um, I'm very... But what does, what's the word that you're trying to say? Opposite of prudish. It's the opposite of prudish. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold like up. If, if I was to say I'm prudish, it's like I don't really like to talk about my sexual ventures. So some of you like to talk about... No, no she's trying to say I'm, she's vanilla. No, I ain't vanilla, baby. I know you. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, vanilla is like prude. She's trying to say the opposite. That's what so, I'm trying to say. So what, what? Yeah. So I'm trying to tell you the She's definition of prude. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. No, 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 no. <laughs> so basically, the definition of someone who's prude is someone who doesn't want to talk about like their sexual experiences and how they would probably do stuff to someone. So you know how like men aren't really... Okay, okay. So but, if I if I say you, basically the opposite is somebody like telling them how 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 they would like it or is that what you do? No. No, okay. No, I'm, not, I'm not getting it. No, you're not hold really on, getting it. Are you trying to find the definition? Yeah, but like I'm the very. Word, you're trying to find the word. I, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm very tongue in cheek. Like I'm very. Oh, you said that before. Yeah, but like. Yeah, but I know what you mean because there's a word opposite to it. But I, I don't know fam, what the I'm actual not gonna word lie, is. It's gonna, okay. gonna piss me off. I'll, so I need I'll, to find I'll, it. I'll find the definition of um, prude for you, so you can so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, but sometimes though, I feel like with 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 some some man anyway, um, they kind of feel like because they've had that attention for a a good period of time when they've been out in the club, you know. It seems as though it's going mm-hmm. their way, you know. At the end of the club, you're gonna go taxi back to mm-hmm. the gaff or whatever. You know, I've been in situations where you know <coughs> the lights have come on. The question is, you, what what are you doing next? Are you staying mm-hmm. out for a bit? Do you want to get off, or you're gonna yes, go with your mates? Yo, come, um, let's go pure. No, my snacks. Pure sexy. still full. Ah, <laughs> so what? basically, sorry to interrupt. I've been for too long. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> so the definition of prude, like I was saying, is a person who is or claims to be easily shocked by matters relating to sex or nudity. 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 Yeah. nudity. But, I, but I'm talking like, as well as me, like, I'm like that in most, like, I'm quite, not that I'm open because also there are some stuff that I don't feel comfortable disclosing. Like, you know, there are certain aspects that, you know, you are quite private with. However, I am very tongue in cheek. Like, I just say it how it is. Like, I'm very, fam, this word is on the tip of my fucking tongue and I'm going to get pissed off because I don't know what it is. And I've been Googling it. I'm very, um, <laughs> I don't know. Either. I don't know. I, okay. I, I wouldn't say... I think I'm getting what you're trying I'm to say. I'm trying to say, like, outsp- not outspoken, but, like, if I don't feel comfortable with something, like, I'd, I'd like to think that, especially within the realms of go, being on a night out, when I've had a drink, I'm leery and I'm confident. I don't care. And I, there's some parts of me that when I've had a drink, I actually actively... I want to beef. Like, I find it fun. Oh, you want to fight people? I don't want to fight people. No, 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 no. You're a bit confrontational. But... I'm not afraid of confrontation, especially when I'm drunk. And also, it's not even about me. Most of the times I've been in arguments when on a night out, it's to do with my friends. With me, I don't really care. But 
with my friends and men, and this is this is what I mean. Like when I go out, like I think I can fight big men because they. Do you know what I mean? And I'm I'm tiny and I'm just so like I'm like question, a little Jack Russell. Yeah, yeah, on this team. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but so team. when I see my friends, like yeah. when I'm out with my friends and we're out, and I see like I'm I I think I can. Obviously, I can't because I'm I'm tiny. But there's something inside me that just gets so vexed and like so I'm so protective over them. Yeah. The question I was gonna ask is, are you do you do that because? Like you think that's actually like the men or whoever you're arguing with won't touch you, or do you actually feel like that is something possible? In that in that like, moment when I when I'm liquored, are you like Jack the Ladder bit? No, you're I, bit am, like, I am, I am, I am, I am. I've seen you like that a little bit times, mm-hmm. don't we? Mm-hmm. But no, but I'm just asking like. On and a that's, and that, listen, and also I'm not the friend that that's angry because no one's moving to her, or I'm not trying to cock block. I I know when my friends feel uncomfortable, and I'm, unfortunately, I've been in situations where men do not get the message, and yeah. you know, I, I want I want my I want my friend to go away from them or I want mm. them to leave my friend alone whatever whatever so yeah in those situations I'm literally just like <laughs> do, you know what, do you know what's sometimes a little bit of blurred lines as well is I think there's the whole kind of notion of like the man, the man has to chase the woman mm-hmm. so when not gonna the, lie I, at my age if I want to speak to a boy I will like it's not really not that deep but that's for you but that's not but for I, I, no do you know what I think a, a lot of my friends feel the same like nah. they do they do feel the same yeah, if but, I want to speak to you I want to speak to you why am I playing games yeah, maybe, to well, wait, like, what's, your this, what's this is this is this in, are you talking about like on the night out or in general so you know what's mad I've I always thought like the older I get the easier to get it, like to speak to girl, yeah. The games become even more complex. Ah, here the, we go. Here we go. <laughs> the only reason I'd only say the only reason the games become more complex the older you get mm-hmm. is because of the stakes that mm-hmm. are, are. I understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. when you're younger, in it, like you're there's more of that. Fun. Yeah, you're just trying to have fun. But when you get into 26, mm. 27, and stuff. A woman, you want to? She, yeah. she wants marriage. She wants yeah, yeah, kids yeah. or whatever. She wants to settle down. She, she wants my baby. For she real, wants but babies. also as well, it's like for me, like I'm friendly to anyone. Like, I'm if I'm rude to you, there's a reason why I'm going to be rude to you because yeah, you piss me yeah. off or you piss my friend off. Like, there's but I'm nice to everyone. I'll hug you. I'll be nice. So like, I've noticed it, especially when I've come up here. Please, please, please do not, don't try and twist that like I'm flirting with you. I, I personally, okay. I can't, I can't even flirt. So that's oh, you can't flirt. Of course I can. Yeah. Um, <laughs> of course I can. <laughs> You, if I'm flirting with you, you know I'm flirting with you okay. because I'm nice to everyone. So tell, don't, tell don't me. interpret oh, me being what, what, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. as you, me are flirting. You of, are you one of these? No, 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 no. I think you guys flirt with you. You actually know. If I'm flirting with you, you'd know because I'm nice to everyone, especially on a night out. Like, and also as well, I've got a lot of male friends. Like, I've, I've grown. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not that, it's not that obscene for me to have male friends or to, to, to click. It's because you've got masculine energy in it. To click, to click with men, to click with men on a night out. Like, I'm just trying to. She used to say that to me all the time. It's oh, I remember you say, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is the thing. That's but that's what I've been told, me. and I didn't realize until I came to Liverpool. People were like, I, I was, I was getting called tomboy, yeah. and I was thinking, what? Mm-hmm. But that's because I'm not gonna lie. Also, like you're comparing me to maybe the girls you know. Do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you're from you know, south, innit? But I think, I think a lot. I think a lot of girls from South London have that have this same kind of energy. Like, no, I think I think they do. That's why I, I, I wasn't actually. You know what I mean? Like, being serious. Like, um, like I've seen other people. Yeah. Like, and I think geographically it depends mm-hmm. where you're from. Whereas yeah. like the certain parts of Liverpool where you get mm-hmm. girls similar to 100%. you, like, mm, they but, come like, across in this this exterior where they're like they're a bit like mm-hmm. not hard, but like yeah. you know what I mean. They, they're also as well, like, I'm very London. close to my dad. Like I grew up doing like doing th- stuff with my dad, like watching football and like go doing BMX and like I really was into football when I was younger. Like massively, all the match attacks. Like yeah. I had male cousins, so like it. When I came up here, I think it was only kind of like, oh wow, like especially it was scousers, it was scouse men that were making the comments that were just like, very, you're very tomboyish, you're very this, you're very that. So, yeah, but tomboys are more accepted in London. But what I was gonna say to yeah. you, you know, when you said like how lads take it like being nice, yeah, I genuinely feel it's lads who don't have girlfriends. Yeah, I always feel like if a girl's nice to me, they're like, yo, I know, I know, she's on it. Or they've like, never had. But I'm, not, yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm yeah. literally just nice. I'm just, I'm making conversation, like I'm being friendly. Like, please, please don't get a twist. Like, if I want to flirt with you, I'll flirt with you. Okay. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying still. I hear ya, I hear ya. But um, so we'll move on to another topic because that was really, really good. Ooh. But anyway, so obviously, you you know, we, 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 the people, the streets, the streets, they want to know about the guests. <laughs> they want to know about Gaia. I, know, know, I hate talking about myself. They want to know so about like, Gaia G. Gaia Jammer. Oh, sorry, Gaya, was it? Jamila, Jamila, Jamila. There we go. There that's, we the go. One. that's the one. That's the one. So, you know, we're going to ask you a few questions. Do you know what my surname is? Triple G. I do. What is it? I can't oh, pronounce oh, it. Ahuja. Ahuja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahuja. Gaia yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahuja. Like it's a mouthful. It. Big up Indian guy. Ahuja. I like yeah, 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 yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you Indian, yeah? Yeah, my dad. Oh, yeah. My dad used I, to live I, in Zambia as well. I like Kia. You love what? Kia. 
What's that? Kia's not Indian though. Isn't it? No. It's rice pudding. It's not Indian though. I've asked people. I've asked people. I don't know yeah, what that is. We used to when we tried to make it one time. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, for love. It was actually yikes. It's <laughs> <laughs> such a full up. We used to live in Manchester and in the Curry Mile, so we used to get this dessert called Kia. To be fair, I rice love living in Curry Mile. You know, it was food fine. was so lit. Mm. It was. It was I love money. Yeah. It was like a rice pudding thing. But like, I don't like that anyway. Nah, but nah, it wasn't it was like delicious. rice pudding though. It was actually so world-class. vanilla and like tastes like milky bars and stuff. Yeah, yeah it, like it, was like, it was like it was like heaven in in a. No, nah, it was actually so. Do you know what's mad? Had like cardamom Liverpool and all Liverpool is actually kind of dead for food, you know. Don't even get Yo, me started. Hey. Don't get me started. I know. This is why I'm gonna open 25 different restaurants. And Go, just for kill it, man. Go for, for it, man. Go for it. It needs Yo. more diversity. It does. does. Literally does. Hardly any good in like no no good Indians. I haven't had any. Not gonna lie, Mowgli's all right. No, 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 no. Mowgli's no, all right. Wait, wait, don't talk. Don't say anything about Shut up. No, oh, shut up. No, no, listen. <laughs> no. Mowgli's all right. Like, I, I like it. But, like, <laughs> like <laughs> compare, if you're comparing it to, like, yeah. sorry, if you're comparing sorry. it to, like, Curry Mile, or, like, even, like, I live in Brixton. Like, yeah. there's Enzans. Jamaican food shops yeah. on every single fucking corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trini, like, Roti, like, there's so much, op- like, mm. so many, like, even, like, African Ghanaian, like, there's bare mm. places being opened up. Here, I've had raggers once, and I'm sorry it was dead. I'm hey, so sorry. It's not it's that so good. Sorry. It's all right. It's the, you because it's so like, limited. Yeah. You go, it's the go-to. And the so, price. The price is not that bad. Nah, the price is expensive. People that exactly. go Turtle Bay, no one chat to me, please. You can't. Well, you like, know what's mad? Everybody it makes goes me feel really. Bay. I know, but that makes me <laughs> feel really sad. True. But even people who know Telway is dead. I go no, Telway. Like the, co- the cocktails. The cocktails. And then I complain I paid four fifty for a patty, and I'm like, I can get four patties for these prices. Yeah, I know, go Tesco, go yeah. Power One. Yeah. Yeah. I know. But anyway, like I, like we were saying about yourself, oh. Big G in the building. Obviously, on, you're a modern actress. Yeah. A big actress. So obviously. Um, Tell the streets about yourself, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know. I honestly find this so awkward. I'm like, no, it's not. Um, Just fire away. Should Come we on, ask questions. Yeah, okay, we wait, questions. wait, wait, wait. Unseen. Unseen, you know. you got to pay me, baby. Send me that invoice. Oh. And then I'm... So, obviously, you, 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 came, from, you came from <laughs> London. And yeah, then you came, came to from Liverpool. London, came to Liverpool. So, how have you found it? Like, did you think, do you think you've had as many opportunities as within the you within, within like acting within acting well, yeah to be as fair like, I'm trained like, I'm training so I came up here to go to university I go to Lipper um, and it's not about like the opportunities that I've had because n- not necessarily I'm I'm not really looking for them because I am in training like I wouldn't have the time like yeah, yeah. especially in second year like I didn't even have the time to wash my hair and stuff. yeah and do you know what the thing about Liverpool and like Manchester there's Channel 4 just opened in Leeds like there's a massive oh, Channel 4 in yeah, Leeds there's a massive oh, there's Media City from as a Londoner, <coughs> things too the whole, No, I think that the whole kind of like the glamorization of like living in London as an actor, like it's to me, it's washed out. I think there's so. I think up, up here, you're what's it? A small fish in a big pond. No, other way around. Big fish, yeah, fish yeah, yeah. in a small pond. Like yeah, yeah. there's there's so much up and coming film, TV, theatre, Manchester Royal Exchange. Like there's so much good stuff going on that is actually that appeals to me. That's political and that is commentating on on social you know issues and it's for me. I, I, I'm just going to put this out there now. The thought of moving back to London makes me sad. I don't want to leave. Oh, serious? Swear down. Yeah, she said it too. Oh, you just want to stay I, up I, north? I, I, there is something, this is going to sound mad, like, pretentious, but... No, it's not, and I'm because not, I'm, I, I wouldn't experience. call myself, like, a very, like, spiritual person. It's not like I've got, like, Ellie, the girl, one of my friends that I live with, you know, Ellie. Yeah, yeah. Ellie's, like, got the salt lamp, like, she's got the quotes on her wall, like... Yo, that's me. Yeah, I yeah, yeah Ellie she loves like that, that stuff. And, and since, me, like, honestly, <laughs> since living with her, like... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie Jackman. And always Josh is thinking, like, he's going to stand the Diaz later. Josh <laughs> 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 said, did nah, no, she I'm not. Your face, nah, no, no, <laughs> no, no, she's... But that's the thing, no, like... like she got so... I like so... No, she's so like that, like... She's very, very, very spiritual. Is your cholesterol... <laughs> oh He's taking the piss over. But I am like that as well. My but room, no, she is like that. My room, I got a salt lamp next yeah, to no, aloe vera plant. I, like, but that's what I mean. I don't brand myself sick? as like that. But within this context, like, this most simplest way to explain it is when I go back to London. So I, I went back to London last week and I just felt mad on edge. And then when I came back up, bruv, the minute I walked through at Liverpool Lime oh, Street, peace. I just went like this. <sighs> Like I feel grounded up here. Like I feel at home, and like yeah. there's an energy in the city that is so infectious, mm, yeah, and I just feel like I don't, I don't know. Like Brixton, like from when I was growing up, it's just changed so much. Like it's so gentrified now. Like people used to play out when I was young. I used to play out. I used to beg my mum, 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 mum. I like I used to just be out in the streets, just like well, with everyone that I lived with. What you just said, this area is. I think this area is gentrified now. 
Like, what, Liverpool? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I can see Liverpool, it. I would say Liverpool, but I'd say like... When Matty came up yesterday, she was like, well, there's bare little cute little vegan coffee shops and that. And I was like, yeah, yeah there are. Yeah, yeah. Like little like pop-ups and Where whatever. Where did she used to live here? Matty, no, she lived in Manchester. Okay, okay. But she's come to Liverpool quite a lot. But there is just something about like, and I'm not going to lie, it's the people, like it's the people that I meet up here. And I just think that, and I can say this because I'm from London. I'm not going to lie, London is a fucking rude. There's, an, yeah. there's, there's, an, there's a hostility and there's a... There's a reluctancy to help people, and I, I can you know, feel it. Do you know I what can, it is? It's individualistic, but yeah. do you know what it is? There's too many of us. There's there's just too many of us to care, and like. That's what I said before. It's a bit too saturated. Yeah, and different. whereas when I'm in Liverpool, like I remember when I first moved up and I had so many bags, like this guy wanted to help me, and my first thought was, oh, fuck, like I was I was shocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so shocked, and it's just. I don't know, like you can just chat to people and, and like my mom's Italian and like, do you know what I mean? Like there's just so many parallels with the way I am and the way I've grown up in Brixton. Now Brixton's changed that I just feel with Liverpool and Liverpool as a, as a city, like, I don't know. It's so socialist and it's so, obviously, you See, know. That, that's what I was going to touch up on, the, the fact that you mentioned it so, so. So I'm reading a book called Chavs. I don't know what Yeah, Owen Wilson, yeah. of course. We, of we course, spoke about course, it in me one did. time. Yeah. So I'm like halfway through it and obviously that's the whole... The whole thing of the dehumanization of the working class. Yeah, and but then, people still say the word "chav" constantly, like "oh, God, that's chavy," or like, and I, it's my yeah. my dad. If my dad ever like my dad constantly is like, "Don't say that, don't say that, don't say that." Like, it's it's a horrible, horrible word to to demonize um, yeah. a so, specific social group. Obviously, because I've lived in I've lived in Liverpool, I've lived in Manchester, but like heritage, I'm from Zambia, so mm -hmm. being back and I've seen the differences, mm -hmm. and I've obviously I've got family in London, so I've been to all these places and seen have you lived in? Have you ever? Have you gone to Zambia? I was born there. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. So. And I was there last summer. Oh, lit. Yeah. Okay. So I'm there every two years yeah. or so. But um, yeah, so when I see the differences and when I was reading the book and it opens my eyes and certain things and I'm like, hmm, now it makes a lot of sense why mm -hmm. certain things happen in the way they happen or why certain people are how they are. Mm -hmm. Because in Liverpool, it's mainly basically a working class mm -hmm. um, city compared to like when we moved, when I'm into Manchester, I was like, Certain areas are quite pretentious mm -hmm. or the certain types of people who move here mm -hmm. and you can see the disparity a lot more because the place is bigger. So I can imagine London to be like that times 10. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you're in Liverpool, because a lot of people, even though sometimes I say it's a bad thing, a lot of people have the same kind of mindset because mm -hmm. they all come from a similar kind of background. Mm -hmm. Because of that as well, a lot of people are samey, but they're so friendly and they're yeah. helpful and they're yeah, kind yeah. because they come from, again, it's like a community. But that's that's how I feel. <coughs> and it's like, I am when I moved up here, I am such a London, like, if you know South London, like, I am such a South London girl through and through. Like, it is like it's, its own little world. Like, everyone in South knows each other. Like, it reminds me of... Hoops? It, of course. I don't know. I, that. I like girls with hoops. But like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I, when I came up, I was like, I'm from London, I'm from London. Like, and I'm so proud to be, gro I'm like, so grateful to have grown up where I've grown up. But there's something about this city that I'm just like, I don't want to leave ever, 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 ever. I'm so attached to it. And I'm just like, I feel like in the last, also as well, like my experience in this city has been mad. In first year, I was just, I was active. I'm not going to lie. Like, I just moved here. My friends were in Manchester. I was always going out. Just always, just, just still on a madness. No. Not gonna lie, I work very hard. Like, I work hard and play hard. Like you see me in ink till like four o'clock. I'm not gonna lie, the next day I'll be up in the morning. I'm doing something like I can I, I can have that balance, and I've learned to kind of hone that now. Last year, I was in a relationship. Like I was just I felt like I was a different person. I was so close to dropping out of uni. Like I was, I was just yeah, I was just I was so like I wasn't grounded. I was just everywhere. I was just mm -hmm. cutting shapes all over the gaff. But now. <laughs> Now, it's actually good I'm so, <laughs> I'm just, I feel so like, I feel so grounded. Like I live in a lovely house. I live with my best friends. Like all these things that are happening to me. It's just like, it's, it's the unit. Like I need it. I feel, need it. Do you feel like now you appreciate, is, is the right word, appreciate it a lot more now rather than when you, when you first moved here? To Liverpool, like, yeah. yeah. When I first moved up, like I was, I wasn't here most weekends. I was in Manchester, I was going back to London and I just feel like, also, you were so like, I was associating this city with uni, and then when I first started, I wasn't sure about uni and hadn't found my people yet, and like that's a tricky time, and it's hard as well. Like you're that at that age where I've just I've got friends for life back home, yeah, and yeah, yeah. my friends back home, the levels that like the friendship we have and like how long we've been friends and the kind of not that not that if you're my new friend you have to prove yourself to me, but like they, they, they set the they set the bar, the bar so yeah, high, yeah, yeah. like they're my family. Mm. And then for me to come up here and like try and you know establish these relationships, especially so quickly, but like in my course, like so when people, you're a lipper, you're there every single day, so you don't have a choice. Like you got to know these people inside out. You're working with them yeah. so closely. So the people um, that you live with, did you know them before you came to Liverpool? No, no, no. 
Oh, so you all just like so we all went to Nipper, and now like that's like I've got other fans. Like it's yeah, it's yeah. just yeah. I feel like yeah, this year twenty. I don't know. It's the mob ties speaking it into existence. There's there's something about twenty, and also like everything that's happened to me like in the past. Like I've just had I'm I've always been the setback girl. Like. I was so naughty in school, failed all my GCSEs. Like, when all my friends were doing A-levels, I was still doing my GCSEs. I was always in trouble. Just n- always that step behind, like, just not getting, not doing this. And then when I went just to, when I finally did. did sixth form and whatever, like, I didn't know what I wanted to do because I never w- didn't want to go to uni. And it's like, there was no one, you know, within that school to be like, actually, like, you don't have to go to uni. Like, you could do this. Or there was no one to really facilitate that. Um, it was only when they invited someone externally who used to go to drama school to come in and help me, which was when I was like, okay, raw. And I had kind of like some guidance and a kind of mentor. Mm. But I was always that person. And I'm just like, mm, no, no, no. And then now, like, everything is just, every, everything just kind of like fitting into place. Yeah. So it's good. Do you feel like, um, like you said, dude, you, you wasn't you were, like naughty and whatever. Mm-hmm. So you was always like, a, a step back yeah do you kind of feel obviously hindsight is a, is a great thing mm-hmm. but you kind of feel like you know if if you didn't have that step back you know mm-hmm. you'd either be where you are now or worse it off or yeah, better yeah. it off because I kind of feel like I repeat I repeated the year in sixth form and I know for a fact if I continued my sixth form normally mm-hmm. I would have been to a completely different uni mm-hmm. I would have I've been doing all sorts yeah. mm-hmm. I would have i have been taking hella drugs, mm-hmm. playing foot. Like, I would have oh, been doing all, loads I, of stuff. I don't know. No, 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 only because. Maybe because the, of the people the, hanging around. The people hanging yeah, around yeah, yeah. with, yeah. I was, I like to think I can make my own decisions now, mm. but the but people that I was hanging around with at the time, I was just taking anything that they were doing. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I was just doing You're literally finished. anything. No, no. Not you here, she finished. No, no, I was listening. Oh. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, so like, pulling cute faces I, I kind of feel like, that's no, no, no. for me. Listen, everything everything happens for a reason. A reason. Yeah. Obviously, there are some stuff that you cannot be justified, you know. There is mad stuff happening in the world right now that there is no justification for. Mm. However, it does. And I really, like, it sounds so cliche, but, like, I, even last year, like, that's not even that long ago, I was so close to giving up. I was so anxious. I, I couldn't leave my house. And it, what you're saying, and this is why, like, not, I'm not saying I'm on, on Caroline Flax level, but that whole thing about that persona, like, when I go into uni, like, I'm the loud one, I'm the funny one, and, like, when I'm having a down day, it's, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, how do I navigate that? Like, I'd rather just stay at home. I'd rather yeah. be by myself than have to be around people. people. Yeah. Fuck that. No way. And I'm so, do you know what I mean? I'm just so close. And yeah. I've got to be this person, this big character all the time. Mm-hmm. John, you were saying like that. You, do you know what I mean? Like it's that. hard. Yeah. It's like, hard. Not like legit, like there's days that I feel mm-hmm. like, I've only started to get it recently, mm-hmm. but I was like, I feel like too many people expect too much exactly but then I and feel you need like to find <coughs> the ways to like, like to to to, to di- not gonna lie to deal with that there are some there are some days where i'm just like okay yeah. and i can feel it either i sit with it or i i, I, I like plow on that there are different kind of i don't know that I, now i've been able to find the mechanisms like i know that going on a walk does that like helps me or like yeah. there's certain stuff that that will help you or like I always say to my friends like the stuff that you fundamentally know makes you happy so like being with my friends or like listening to this certain song or going to the gym like the gym like the, the correlation between gym and mental health I'm not a gym freak at all like I'm, I'm the last person to go to the gym but last year I would literally just go in and run and I started boxing and yeah, like really just that dolphins. and for boxing as well especially for me it was like when I'm running I'm not gonna lie I was still thinking about stuff whereas boxing to me it was like it's a very intense game of chess like you can't you can't be not focused you have yeah, to be yeah. focused mm. there's 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 a lot at stake like you've got to be physically engaged as well as psychologically and that's why I really liked it because sometimes in the gym I wasn't being ch- challenged physically yeah. I was still thinking about my own stuff and still in my own head and uh, you know the overthinking process and all of that kind of stuff so like but biologically it does make you feel better because you're releasing endorphins so like finding what suits you and just knowing like raw when these feelings come like I know yeah. what I have to do or like yeah. I know that I'm not gonna lie maybe if I'm anxious like, I probably shouldn't drink or like I probably shouldn't I shouldn't do this yeah. or know the things that you, you shouldn't do because then that can help you kind know, of what tailor you yeah. Yeah. so like I was I was seeing somebody who um, they drink drinking potentially could, could trigger all these things also as well and this was surely after you know I had my own like sort of battles with like anxiety and stuff like that and I was quick to say like okay look this is what helped me maybe you should try this there's not a set way to sort exactly. of deal with certain things like nope. you mentioned before mm. you know find what makes you happy mm. maybe that's the best way to start off things mm-hmm. because you know I, I used to love playing sports obviously because of my knees and stuff now I can't really play mm-hmm. sports anymore so chilling with my friends you know mm-hmm. going 
out and just getting a bit wasted now every now and again like for me that 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 helps me get mm-hmm. back to where I want to be do you mm-hmm. know what I mean um, I think it's important that you just enjoy yourself yeah. do you know what I mean there, I think there are simple things like that but also as well like when you've tried that and things aren't looking up like you have to go to your doctor like, and uh, it's a scary conversation to have and you have to like therapy isn't accessible and you can not going to lie you can only be seen on the NHS if, you, if you're suicidal and that yeah, also is yeah, yeah. it's yeah. fucked it, it's fucked but I mean the NHS is in its own demise and they have enough problems like do you know what I mean like they're, they're prioritizing people and there's it's a very very problematic conversation to even get into and it's such a shame because there's so many people that need the support and it's it's really hard and you know therapy is expensive like if you want to go private yeah, yeah, it is okay. expensive and it's it's mind-boggling and i think everyone deserves that kind of access constantly but the world doesn't work like that yeah, it's true. It's all true. medication like i was i'm i was on medication and i was on it for a considerable amount of time and now i'm not on it anymore and like, i only went off it a couple months ago and but the shift i felt when i was on it was Normally it makes you worse before you get better and I was just a mess. I was so anxious. And then after a while, again, it's it's tailored to you. Like you take the dosage of, you know, what you what you deem is appropriate or, yeah. you know, how you feel. And I was on that and then I began to feel a lot more stabilised and that's why we're talking about the whole Caroline Flat thing, like the whole like be kind, like yes, be kind, but also being kind doesn't solve people's yeah. severe, you know, yeah. mental health problems. Mm. It's, it's a lot more complex than that. It's it's a deficiency in your brain. It's, you know, it's an imbal- imbalance of serotonin levels. It's it's not as easy as just busting someone a smile and, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. There's a lot more that goes into it and I think a lot more people need to be aware that, yes, it's great, like, repost a be kind quote on your fucking story, but I don't mm. think, I'd, that's not enough to really, really help someone. Same with friends and family, like, my friend said, said to me the other day, he was like, I wonder how Caroline's stamp family must feel like. They must feel so heartbroken knowing that they could have done something. Sometimes it's it's, it's, not, it's not enough. Like, yeah, it's yeah. actually not enough. I feel like it was, as I said, it goes back to what I was saying before. It's her own personal ego, mm. though. She generally feel, she felt like she's blacklisted. Mm. She actually felt like there's no way to come back. Like, yeah. That's 100%. The, only, mm. the one thing that I want to add on that, though, Someone tweeted, which like it made a lot of sense. They said, to be honest, no one actually, and you'll never know, no one actually knows why she actually mm-hmm. committed. It's true. Like, you never actually know. So you don't know whether it's because, like you were saying, she felt blacklisted because mm-hmm. of all the social media backlash, or it was because she has a persona and she's built up and now no she's idea. lost it, or because of the ca- case or whatever. So it's it's a lot of speculation and it's mm-hmm. hard to actually pinpoint, like, why she took her own life. Mm-hmm. Uh, Can I try to interrupt? <coughs> what was it? An overdose was it? Or? Apparently her friend, I, I heard that her friend, a worried friend popped round to like check on her and then she went popped to the shops to go yeah, and get yeah, some yeah. supplies for Caroline and then when she came back she, she found dead. her, but she found her like that. Is her man still her man? I, I heard that they were like, they kind of made amends again and now they're not. Which the one that was the used in the to, case? Yeah, yeah. I, I heard that he like forget. I, I mean, again, See, I'm, I'm no, not no. gonna lie. Then, yeah. Didn't he want the charges to be dropped and then? Why did man go to the police in the first place? On a on a level, yeah. If that was no, does I know it, there's yeah, a limit but to. But this, if that was my girl and she did that, yeah, I don't know if I could take her to court. But, 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 but no, but you're but yeah, exactly. This is you. Yeah, and you need to understand how do you play off that because he'd obviously be probably scarred physically and mentally. How do you play like he, he was I'd caught in the head and stuff. A couple of times, isn't it? It's only fair. But, yeah, but, <laughs> but, but, but two wrongs don't. Exactly. No, no, yeah. no. She, she, needs to get, she needs to know, because she busts my head, the slap I'm going to give her is going to yeah, be Yeah, but hefty. it doesn't work like that, obviously. <laughs> like, so dark. You see, you so, see how I'm so saying so nothing? No, but you see, it's like, so, so I'll dark. never take her to court, but she knows that the slap that she's going to see. If you slap somebody, yeah, I don't think you're getting over I swear. That no. whack jack. <laughs> But there's a lot of there's a lot of things people do in <laughs> in the moment. Off. Like <laughs> for him, going to the police or whoever he reports it to, <laughs> probably his way of seeking help. Do you know but what I mean? Him, you don't even know. Like maybe this could have been happening for so long, and that was the final this straw. The final like straw, yeah. you have no, like you literally have no idea what people are going through. Josh. Josh. <laughs> Because <laughs> like even even going back to the, my situation, I was explaining. Uh, it took me a good like four or five weeks before I even 
got the chorus to say exactly. that. Exactly. Everyone's di- everyone's different. Like you wouldn't do that in that situation. Like I'm not gonna lie. You don't you don't know what you're gonna do until you're in that situation. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's very easy for someone to say and be like, if that was me, bruv, no, it wasn't you. I, like you don't know I, I, until I don't you're know, in yeah, that situation. I 100% no, I wouldn't take it to but police. You, but you, you you have no like, idea what the circumstances if that's are my until girl, yeah, and she's trying to bust up my head. No, but what, what she's what guy is saying though is true because it could have been an ongoing thing. Yeah, and but that family, was just no, but, and that was just the final straw, or that was the thing that was happens inside. The only thing that I can kind of really say that. You, have, you, have, you, have you man been following the Johnny Depp case? No. Nah. So, Johnny, uh, you must have known this, isn't it? Oh, you guys uh, need nah, to, nah, especially nah. you used to. Oh, yeah. Basically. because um, the No, no, no. This oh. is a proper big case. Like, this is massive. So, you know, he lost, like, Pirates of the Caribbean and stuff. What do you mean when you say lost? Was it abuse allegations? Well, yeah, yeah. So, he's not, he, he, they, they removed him being Jack Sparrow. I yeah, thought, but I, I have not done anyway. Yeah, I not No, 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 no. So, Disney said he didn't want him no more. Okay. Uh-huh. So basically, Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, I was gonna say that is is Disney Pirates huh? of the Caribbean. Yeah. Oh my god. down. Wow. It's DreamWorks, man. The Disney's Pirates. Is it? No, nah, 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 definitely nah, DreamWorks, Dreamworks, bro. Isn't that cartoons Disney's, and stuff? That's Disney's not nah. Toy Story shit. Yeah, Toy Story, and DreamWorks, and Pixar and stuff. Fuck. Monsters Inc. and all that. No, but yeah. Pixar is owned by Disney now. <sighs> this is, uh, the world's changing too fast for me, bro. Uh, too, well, yeah, too too fast. So it turns out that his his misses. So like he's acting a bit weird. He was looking malnourished. He was mm. being, but apparently his girl was doing like mad domestic abuse for the past like two, three years. Oh really? Yeah, like really, really bad. But um, when you're in such a situation, like uh, I don't know, when it gets to such a deep situation where it becomes so vis- uh, visible and physical. Like surely you got to... No, but it's a lot easier said than done. Yeah, also, like the Caribbean there are like yeah, it is, yeah. okay. I, I can only base it on like m- like my age, like my age group, like m- m- the experiences that I've kind of heard and seen about like my friends. It's like, okay, at this age, being in a physical relationship, like physical relationship, sorry, abusive relationship, especially when it's physical, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Um, it's a lot easier said than done. Like there's massive sense of denial. Like you can be gaslit. Like you, you can, you, you know, you can be made to think that it's your fault. Like you're being, you're essentially being emotionally manipulated and, yeah, you know, psychologically yeah. abused. Like you, you have no idea. Like, you're completely, completely blindsided. However, at this age, it is difficult. And, you know, whether you stay with a, with a partner, male and female, within this context of our age group is personal. Like, I I think at this age, I don't have any loyalties to you. Like, there's no there's no legalities. There's no, mm. we don't have kids. We don't have a house in the south of France. We don't have a dog. Do you know what I mean? But when you're yeah, married yeah. and that stuff happens and you've been with this person for ages, yeah. you know, sorry, in sickness and in health. Do you know what I mean? Like, the there's, so mu- there's so much more... At stake, like it's it's a lot easier said than done to just walk away and to just fuck it off. No, like, it's true. I didn't necessarily mean hard. just cut ties and bit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Done this. Or I just mean like it gets when you to get a point where the des- it's like, that desperate stage. Yeah, it's like it's you hard. Seek help. I know it's hard too, but especially I'm not gonna lie, especially for men. When yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's what I'm saying. Even the, do you know what I mean? Like there's all this pressure and Johnny Depp as well. Like he's he's Who's the that? ultimate like. He's that Hollywood like pinup boy for like you know for men and he's he's so successful and nah, not for me but yeah no but you know what I mean I like do, he's do, he's do. very I very like, respected. I like, um, Johnny Depp he's such a year. I, yeah, so do I, I. I fuck with Johnny Depp, me man. So yeah. it's just like again like within that context like as a man like how can you how can you be open about it like it's embarrassing. A lot of men find it embarrassing mm. and they don't want to get that kind of. There's a shame stigma. Yeah, there's a shame it. and they don't want to get judged and they don't want to they don't want to be reprimanded by other men. Um, because and that's why I think it's very easy easier said than done for you to be like oh in this situation mm. you don't know until until you get there and you don't know you don't that's know their true. relationship you don't know all the components they've got kids you know they've got probably got contracts like that you know they're in the, yeah. in the media constantly so mm. yeah that's true but anyway I had a question oh yeah so obviously you're into your acting oh yeah <laughs> actress and stuff you know yeah so you talk about mental health a lot yeah my head's frazzled at the minute no I'm joking <laughs> um, so like do you have any inspirations like um, yeah I have a have few it doesn't have to be female or male it can be any I have a few inspirations um, ah, I love Catherine Tate when I do you remember Catherine Tate yeah, yeah I, I love know Catherine Tate time. Oh, the um, one who had BBC show yeah. yeah I grew up watching people like Catherine Tate and I grew up watching things like Shameless and just like very British TV, The Office, um, Peep Show. And then because of my dad, I started watching things like The Wire and like getting like more American things and things like that. And I've watched so much TV and so much film 
that I'm just like, I don't know. I, at the moment, the people that is, but I like Michaela Cole. She's a woman that has written for herself. She wrote, she, I don't know if you guys know, Chewing Gum. She's on Black Mirror as well. Yeah. yeah. So she Michaela. wrote and produced and starred in her own, you know, her own series that capitalised on, on her and her casting. And I think that to me is something that's so admirable because she's literally, she's making her own opportunity. She's making her own work. Like, you know, if there's not a lane for you, then, you know, make your own. And she's done that massively. It won a, I think it won a BAFTA. Like she's, she's, she's great. And from that, she's gone on to do so many other things. Black Mirror, she's yeah. done a film called Been So Long that's really, really good based on a play. Um, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, again, same kind of concept. Wrote for herself. Bust her mate. Like I think it was her friend from drama school. Um, and the cast director, to play her best friend within the series, the cast director was just like, don't don't choose, like, we, we can't take her. They wanted to cast someone else. And she was like, nope. So in the future... We'll do you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. you know, bring, bringing your friends in and plugging your friends and that these are the kind of characteristics that of especially actresses that I really really value um, so we're going to see Gaia Productions in the future listen I hope featuring so featuring front left I hope so I hope so, I hope so, I hope so. who anyway. knows but that's what I mean like I don't I don't know what's going to happen um, Catherine Taylor was massive you know she was she yeah. was like, I grew up watching people like her and like did you ever used to watch um, Little Miss no- Little Miss Jocelyn yeah. Little Miss Jocelyn. Yeah. No. Did you not miss I've it? I've heard watch of it, it, but I didn't watch it. So I'll send you some links. Like so jokes. So, so yeah. funny. Yeah. So, I saw, so is funny. that don't jealous, don't jealous Me? No. No, no, no. no. But I, I did watch that. Yeah. I did watch that. Because yeah. I know who she is. I did watch that. I did watch she that. She has a sign that says all men yeah, yeah, are blood yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I did watch that. That was that was before the teacher TV. skits were the best ones. Yeah, yeah, I, did yeah. That. I did watch that. BBC T used to throw some Fam, stuff. Little Britain. When Yo. you look back at Little Britain, the stuff that they it's, were doing was mad when you think of, yeah, yeah, it was. When you're mad Come bringing, fly with me. It, Come yeah. fly with me. That's a... The I know, to, but they were they were out here doing blackface, bruv. Yeah, yeah. yeah. used to be pretending to be Indian, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Indian, and that Disabled. woman, the woman that worked oh, yeah, fam, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's problematic. But again, like you know, people watched it. I did. I'm mm, going to be honest, no, and I loved it. I loved it. Now, however, I know, I know that I would watch it with scrutiny because you know, th- you know there's what? a big shift in it's what's deemed. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't going to say that. But if I see certain things like that, if I know it's intended to be like that, I'm not going to offend it from it. Mm. And I'm just going to watch it. And Again, I'm that's, enjoy just, it. that's you. That's me yeah, personally, because yeah. I can appreciate the art because yeah. this is what they're personally, this is what they are purposely mm-hmm. trying to achieve. I think you can still do that, but you can still be sensitive and still, for example, I would... Yeah, you know, I still know I, the I wrongs could, and rights from Yeah, it, you know, yeah. there's there's a difference between being a character and, you know, like switching up your accent or your hair colour, but, you know, when you're on the spectrum of, like, you know, changing race and, you know, you're you're blackfishing and you're you're culturally appropriating, that is when things become a bit problematic. And that I think, true. yeah. But anyway, that was a nice, long, lengthy discussion by the front left guys mm. featuring Gaia, Jamila, Jamil, Gamma. <laughs> <laughs> you just but butchered her name. I said, said Gamma in there. Yeah. Gammon. She don't eat pork. I hate I pork. Said gamma. Listen, gamma. no pork on my fuck, nah, baby. I said, I said Gamma as in, you know. You I'll need to get a, a Subway breakfast. I, no, I don't. I would never eat Subway. Uh, no. Disgusting. Don't eat Subway. Subway. Eat a Subway breakfast. Mm-mm. I had a meatball sub a couple of months back. That don't taste like meatballs, you know. I don't know what I'm going for. You mean the meatless one? No, the actual meatball Subway is for children, I'm not going to lie. Anyway, just before we go, I did prefer a quick this or that. Yeah! So, <laughs> that was Trey's favourite. What is it? <laughs> so basically, every at the end of every segment, I ask you guys this or that. So you just pick which okay, one, which okay. one. I like this one. But, um, you know, I'll, <laughs> the first one's football anyway. But anyway, we'll go. Benzema or Suarez? You don't have to answer if you don't know. Um, Benzema's the man. Trey's really thinking about this. You know what, yeah? Just purely on football, Suarez. Because he went play for Liverpool. I'm going Benzema. Okay. Yeah, ben, I like Benzema. Paris or Milan? Milan. Milan. I've never been to Milan. I've never been to either, but I'm going Paris. I've never been, I've never been to Milan. I've got Paris PSG, as well. big drip. Okay, Dior or Balenciaga? Dior. Uh, Dior. Dior all day. Right, everyone said Dior. Dior got uh, some These six stuff. foot double decker shoes, man. I know, I can't <laughs> stand them. <laughs> I can't get oh, my head around them. So, so did the Dior. triple S. The old ones are like high top ones. Yeah, nah, they have the gl- the Dior, cloud bust. The Dior, the cloud what? Cloud, um, type the, f- the cloud bust. Cloud buster. Thunder claps. Nah, the, 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 oh, the, I the thought that's what you were talking about. <laughs> the old Dior, um, Dior. Uh, no, seen... sorry, the Prada, sorry, my bad. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. do you all have them high top ones with sparkly di- yeah. diamantes yeah. and like, they're dead? But I like the old runners though. They're the, the, the is cold it, door. Is the ones that I'm looking at? Run- what's called runners? Runners. Okay, yeah. the next oh. one. No, no, no. <laughs> Black or white? Black. Just Black. Any, anything doesn't. It's not race. It's just 
just simple black or white. Yeah, black man. <laughs> I just think I just think I'm wearing all black. And I'm, all. I, yeah. Smart, I, I, to be it? fair, I was talking about it the other day. I was like, all my clothes are black. Like I don't wear anything else. The majority of people, I, well, not the majority. Quite a lot of people I know just wear all black. All black. Like, you can't. You happens. know what? You can't go wrong. You just can't. All black. black little don't black crack, baby. Done. True. Okay. Penguins or koala bears? Penguins. Um, penguins. No koala bears. So I, it can hug me like a child. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can take a ram with me in it. A koala could be more climatized here than a penguin. It's <laughs> like if a penguin was here, it would die. You really fucked up this time. Time. <laughs> uh, Penguin, man. <laughs> I'm going penguin as well. Okay. Eat 5,000 Smarties or have to do 150 push ups? 150 push-ups. 5,000 Smarties. I could, I could body that. Smarties are tiny, you know? Nah, nah, nah. 5,000 5, Smarties. Smarties. But they're only small. No, 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 no. Five. Nah, listen. Said, you know what, you Jay? Five minutes, I get through. That, that's you know what, you know what? Yeah, innit? Are you serious? 5,000 Smarties. Jacob knows. Yo, I'm doing push-ups. Yeah, the push-ups, you can do that in like two minutes. You know when you ask these questions, I think, what do you mean? Like this or that, you know what I mean? Like, what would you rather? Yeah, what would you rather? Trust his face. Oh, if you had an option, which one would yeah, you rather do? Yeah, would yeah. I rather would I rather the penguin or the koala? What? Yeah. Like Owen was a pet or <laughs> <laughs> Next time we do this You're or back, guys. I'm this gonna one. I'm gonna have to explain the rules to It's just like which one in it? Like yeah, what's exactly. your preference? Oh, okay, okay, uh, yeah. This or that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Don't, don't, don't back him up. Thank you very much. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, but I leave them vague because if I go so into depth. Then we have know, conversations like this. Exactly. Yeah. About would you want a p- p- penguin or koala as a pet? <laughs> Pick up a penguin. Uh, 150 push ups. Okay, cool. Yeah, push ups. Live yeah. to be 100 years old or be a billionaire but never have kids. Wow. I'm not going to lie, I'm having kids. Yes, the kids fit for me. Yeah, man. I need kids. kids, man. So I mean, you, you live to 100? Yeah, that's great. I'd love cool. to live to 100. Can you adopt? I'd oh. love to adopt. I would oh. love to adopt. Oh. Oh. oh, can you adopt? I'd love yeah, to but adopt. I need someone to carry on my legacy. I need I need bloodline. Uh-uh. Like I need to be like, yo, this is me I'm still tr- carrying on my essence. I'm the same. Okay, live to hundred, I go with that. Apple pie or apple crumble? Apple, pie. apple crumble. Apple Come on, dead. apple crumble. Apple, apple crumble bag. Bag. What? The, the crumble's paying. Apple pie will day. Nah, apple the crumble's paying. The crumble's the crumble's Come on. Cake day. It's Today? Next week. No, no it's it's not. Next, week. It's next week. It's next it's week. It's next week. It's the 26th. Right? Mad. I'm having pancakes tonight. Yeah, 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 it's next week. week Shrove Tuesday's the 26th. Okay. Spice Girls or Adele? Adele. Adele, because she rose. She's from South. Like, have uh, you seen that picture of her? The girl's like, yeah. that, that's your she, sister. Did, listen. Did you see my story when I put all the. Yeah. yeah listen, she's hard, bro. Mm. Do, do, do. All right, and this is the last one. <laughs> have purple hair or have wait, no wait, eye? Are we doing the pod on Tuesday? We're going to do pancakes in here? Alright, come on. Right, yeah, cool. yo, yo. Yeah. After so, the pod, can't be sleeping. Yes. Cool. I'll bring like whatever. Yeah, I'll buy it with condiments. Stuff. Okay, so have purple hair or have no eyebrows? <laughs> my eyebrows, not gonna lie, no, 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 no. <laughs> my eyebrows are my everything, so I'd have to have purple hair. I could yeah, do no eyebrows. I could do purple no hair. eyebrows. You look weird. Do you know how uh, funny you look? <laughs> Without you look no weird. Beard, you look mad. <laughs> 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 I'm doing purple hair. That'd be joking. I have no eyebrows. I'll shave my eyebrows like. Not gonna nah, lie, I reckon, like, I reckon all of you lot could flex purple hair. I could flex purple hair. I actually yeah. reckon you could. I don't know if I could. I reckon flex. you could. No, I think you could, yeah. yeah, yeah. Rather than no eyebrows, are you okay? No, Where no, are no. they? Bro, your forehead will start with your eyelashes. <laughs> Have you seen that filter on there, Snapchat? Yeah. No. yeah. I just got no two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. oh, man. Nah, it's oh, jokes. Man. Purple hair flex well, anyway, every day, baby. Yo, that was the Front Left podcast. You know oh, what it is. The streets have been waiting. We've been answered. Front Left of all conversations. Hey, front man, Left man, Mondays. Man. So we're going to plug our socials. Go for it. Our test key, our everything. Trey LVP, Instagram only. Um, I'm Josh underscore LFTS. And that's our special. Facebook and Twitter. Oh, sorry. Um, and Instagram. And our special guest. Um, I'm at G A I A underscore I A Gaia Aya. Oh, oh that was so sweet. Like Peace. Peace. Thanks Gaya, for having me, Aya. guys. <laughs>